Good morning. What am I doing? What are we doing? We're racing street bikes. Dude, we already rode a Porsche around this morning. It's unbelievable. Let's go. All right, so this is the trusty steed for the day. Uh, CBR 600, Orange Crush as they call her. I, I gotta take it easy here for a little bit. So I gotta figure out this bike and how she handles before I really start to give her the berries. But we've, we're in good hands. We got some professionals here. They're gonna help me easing through it. I'll have some simple hand signals. This is just get your eyes moving, scanning the head. Psych! That's the wrong number! were given. Woo! Good, buddy. That was good stuff, man. Thank you. No, it's just like I'm coming in and I'm, I'm pretty lean. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, you and just like, it yeah, kind of just yeah. a little. It took me, you know, a good 10 laps before I started to feel like I knew what I was doing. The thing about this type of racing or riding is that everything is so precise when you're going that kind of speed. If you just mess up a little bit, you know, that, that then like, extrapolates out to Fordville later on. I'm like mentally just drained. Like you're just, I don't know, dude, it's so much fun. <laughs> Street bikes are very emotional. Like you're out there and the cortisol is just building constantly because you're defying death at every moment. So while we're out here racing, kind of want to explain a little bit why he's here and then where he's going and, and how we got connected for this year. So let's sort of just, uh, I guess, back up a little history on the trap man. First sport, I'd probably just say BMX. BMX or swim, it's the first one. And so you got really good at swimming? Yeah, I got really good at swimming, junior Olympics, stuff like that. Probably should have kept doing it. Probably would have been more successful there than I am at bikes. Got very boring swimming four hours every day looking at a black line. I ripped this cord out so that it doesn't make that. Well, how did you find bikes? Um, my dad started doing Iron Man. So then I was, of course, I was like 13, 14, wanted to ride with my dad. So I, uh, he got me a bike, we started riding. I think there's a difference of your bike handling skills and you being over protective of yourself. I know you could descend with me, but you're like, shit, I might die. Me, I'm 19, I'm like, I don't care. So I like to operate at the 70% level. That's how my motos, bikes, whatever, really anything that is risky is that I'm gonna run 70%. I have a family, uh, I, I can't get hurt. And so if I go out and I go 100%, then there's no room for error. If you make one small mistake, so I like to operate at 70%. And that means that sometimes that's slow as shit. But over time, as I get more and more comfortable, so with like dirt bikes, I go out there and I run 70%. I, there's no way I'm wrecking on my own just because I'm not pushing it hard enough, nowhere close. But if I can get good enough to where 70% is decently fast and then it's fun, then I'm having a blast and I'm not taking any risk.
Could've went to jail or the army Remember when they didn't wanna call me Should've seen a look when they saw me They ain't happy, they just shot Kill Nipsey, they touch pot Can't believe that I made it here Niggas bust rounds at my bus stop No help, all me get money on three game plan In the hills talking real figures Got heel figure on the waistband Like four bands, four hours fuel efficient Just know I get it done Life a dream, life a game All the same, look like I really won Roll the dice, you could bet that Came back from a setback Front pocket full of head pack About to do a show, then I head back Like hold up, watch how you talk to me so then there was a young Travis uh, riding around at Phil's Fondo and we actually saw the clip where Travis was riding next to me when he was like two. I was putting on a Yosemite cycling camp in 2019 and this kid DM'd me and he's like, hey, you know, I really want to come and help, but I already was full. I had so much staff. There's no way I needed anyone. That's what he thought. I said, I'm coming anyways, cause you need help because I'm Travis and I'm to get shit done. What was the reason to want to come drive up? Just, I don't know, be myself. I like to help people, like, back on the, the pool decks. I'd go out to the parking lot, get all the, everyone's, like, easy ups and chairs. Just, I don't know, I've always been super helpful. And I like bikes. And, of course, it was like, you get to ride in Yosemite, and then you also get to, like, ride bikes with cool people, hang out with you, hang out with a bunch of different people. And, like, I don't know, super cool. So one thing that I'm real proud of Travis for is that he got this Vitus deal all on his own. He got a bike sponsorship um, just because of his own merit. Nothing to do with me. And I thought that was really cool. And so like, you know, I've never had, I've never been a mentor and I've really never had a mentor. I would say my mom maybe is like my biggest mentor, but I don't really know how to do that. Just in general, what's the number one thing you've pulled away from not only seeing projects get made, plus also you see my family. I think it's how to deal with the big picture items. In the thick of it, you're like, dude, this kind of sucks. Like, I'm really not sleeping much. I'm all these things, but it really pays off in the big picture. So it's like, wor not worrying about what's happening right then, but you've put out of pocket, like, a lot of money for Impossible Rod that you didn't have to, but you want to do that for your own future. So just seeing that kind of sacrifice is really cool. So that's what I've tried to offer Travis a lot more than just payroll. Cause I mean, I don't pay him a whole lot, but I, I do feed him, I housed him, uh, I paid for his travel everywhere. And then to try to give him some connections to where he can go beyond me, that's the best kind of mentor. Is someone that you just hype someone up, you build them up and then they go and do better and greater things. And you're planning on moving to Texas full time at the end of this month. Yeah, in like 10 days. I'm getting used to it, I'm getting comfortable, but to be honest, I'm getting pretty mentally exhausted. I'm ready for the day to be over. So, you know, but we're gonna ring this out, dude. We're gonna get everything out of this we possibly can. premiere but what what do we put for numbers you know that's what i'm struggling with here jeremiah bishop dude there is no rest for the wicked this day is just fun you know i, I wouldn't be able to do the things i'm doing right now because of travis i'm very grateful to have the people around me that i do because like otherwise i wouldn't be doing this and this was maybe one of the highlights i mean i've had a lot of highlights this year but this one right now like feels super good but um, don't really want to crash and uh, I think I've had a really good day so we're going to deposit that in the bank and let's get back to Tim's house I guess. I wake 
wish, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. I can't. I miss you guys so much. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Oh. When uh, I first met Travis, he was like a part of some cult cycling team and he wanted to be a pro cyclist. Like his, he was destined for sure he was gonna be world tour and ride at the Tour de France. Now that he's 19, do you still think that that's gonna happen for you? Um, I, like, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna get to the highest point I can. Like. I'm not gonna say I can't or can, but I'm gonna give it at all, so. Is that what you want to do? You wanna be a pro cyclist? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like what's the one thing in your cycling career that you've been like, oh, that, that's probably the best I've been to this point? I did a right in Belgium when I was there. I think there's a couple different answers of what I'm like, proud that I was able to do, but like nothing that's outstanding, I think to the to other people. Uh, I want to address one thing because I know people will say something about it is that when you see someone on a street bike going a hundred miles an hour dragging their knee your instinct is to be like that's risky that's irresponsible you have a family but I do not take unnecessary risk I'm already doing risky things so I'm not going to make the risky things even riskier so when I'm out there and I get passed by a guy that I would like to stay with or even beat I got no ego. I'm gonna let that guy go. I'm going to just ride well within my limits. Now, as I got better throughout the day, the speed increased, but I still kept it around 70%. I never once had my butthole pucker up and be like, whoa, that was too close. I really did forget how much mental endurance you need for street bikes. That it's like cycling, you can ride your bike and mentally be gone. Like you don't even need to be there, right? You can just pedal your bike and mind future. But on the street bike, there's no way you can do that. Coming down the start straight into turn one, if you have a half a second lapse in judgment, if you just kind of like, oh, what am I gonna eat for dinner? Oh shit, I'm flying through the air because I missed the turn. What's the most valuable thing you think you've taken from this last six months? Uh, be open. Um, I usually am very closed off about my personal, personal business, I guess. And through what you've taught me is like, uh, just be like you're a person. Like people are out of have, you're out to have emotions, how to have um, feelings towards people, and uh, you're kind of teaching me a little bit how to how to deal with that in a bigger bigger thing. Cause like I let myself open up um, like a month ago or two months ago, and then it kind of just crashed and burned, and that kind of hurt me. But uh, you've helped me like teach how that's like that's okay, and everyone goes through that, and it'll get better. God, I miss you guys so freaking much. I want to keep talking to you guys after this, okay? So don't don't hang up. Let's just uh, sign off though, okay? All right. So today on the drive home, I saw some Christmas lights, like a Christmas lights thing, and I m missed my family so much because I wanted to take them to the Christmas lights. Tomorrow, we're going to go home. We'll be back with you guys. My bubs just asked me if we could play bikes when I get home. Huh, so cute. Guys, I love you so much, and as always, Thanks for watching. Vegan Cyclist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>